And time now to answer some of your plant questions. And joining me this afternoon is Carrie Angle from Valley View Farms. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. We are all talking about how beautiful these flowers I, are. These are amazing. We have a couple friends that bring these in every year. So this is from um, Ann Lynn King. Um, but beautiful dahlias. Mm -hmm. They get planted in the spring from those big, like, they look like spiders with, like, big swollen legs. Okay. But they get planted in the spring, and then by now they're blooming. And this was just the perfect year. We had enough rain to really keep them going. Uh, another month or so, they'll have to dig up the tubers, bring them inside so they can start them again next year. It's the kind of flower that just cheers up your whole day. Oh, it does. I love just, it. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's get to our questions. Right. First, how should I treat my kale and collards as winter approaches? Just enjoy them. I mean, go out and cut them back. You should really have kale and collards. I would think through about Thanksgiving nice. um, until because the frost isn't going to bother them at all. A heavy freeze will take it out. Um, sometimes I'll leave it over winter, so just keep enjoying them as the winter approaches. Don't, we, don't tell us twice because we <laughs> there <will. you> go. <laughs> All right, last year my marigolds were beautiful. This year they dried out and never recovered. What did I do wrong? You know, I don't know because marigolds are usually pretty easy and again we had plenty of moisture this year. If they're in pots and dry it out certainly they're going to go. Um, they do are susceptible to a little insect called spider mite oh. uh, but again that usually happens when they're on the dry side and they're under some stress. So I don't know offhand but I'd certainly try them again, put them in a place that gets full sun, Water them when the soil is dried at the touch and you ought to be okay. Okay, good advice. All right, last. The potted fiddle leaf fig tree in my home is growing rapidly. I don't want to put it outdoors. What should I do? You may have to cut it back, and Oops. that's not a big deal with them. And you can also do what they call air layering. So you can take one of those branches and cut into it about two thirds of the way. Okay. Put some moss around it and then cut it, and that can become a new plant. So it's a fun plant to propagate. It's kind of become the in plant, the in house plant. And I'd hold on to any of those because with Florida kind of out of service for us oh, to get house true. plants for a while, I don't know how many of them we're going to be able to see in the gotcha. next couple of months. Share with friends. Yeah, exactly. Right, Carrie, thank you so much. All right.